Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. Now in today's lesson, we're going to look at the data dictionary. What is the data dictionary you may ask? Simply the dictionary that holds the metadata about your database. So the Oracle data dictionary actually holds your metadata about your database, which is actually the structural information of your database. Okay. And this metadata is structured into tables and what is known as views. And it's also maintained by the Oracle server. So you literally do not have any form of intervention whatsoever as to how the data dictionary is updated. Another thing you should know about the data dictionary is the fact that only the sys user can access it as it is virtually owned by the sys user. Do not attempt in any way to modify it directly using SQL. Now there are different levels of structure for you to actually query if you want to access data from the data dictionary. The first structure to query is what is known as the CDB underscore any object. Okay, it could be CDB underscore views or CDB underscore tables or CDB underscore any other object. Okay, now this view actually contains all objects in a container database, including pluggable database. And of course, access to this data dictionary is restricted to DBAs with six DBA privilege or select any dictionary privilege. So if you are a user that has these mentioned privileges, you can actually access data dictionary in the container database. Now the next kind of view to actually select from is the DBA underscore. It could be DBA underscore tables, it could be DBA underscore views. And then this data dictionary contains all objects in a container or pluggable database according to which of the container you are actually logged into. So if you are in the container database and you issue a query that selects from the DBA underscore any object, assuming you are in the root container, it will give you details for just the root container. But if you are connected to the pluggable database, it will actually give you details about the pluggable database. So it's actually container specific. Okay. Now, the next kind of view you can actually query is the all underscore any object. And this view actually contains all objects that can be accessed by the current user. For instance, if the HRO user is connected to the database, it can actually select the view from all his objects. Okay. And then the final one is the user underscore, and then it contains all objects owned by the current user. Okay. Now there's an important note. If you want to see all objects in a container database and a pluggable database, okay, use the CDB underscore and then note for this kind of view your pdb must be open why because if the pdb is not open the view gives you only the details of the cdb so let's go into our practical lecture so i'll show you what i've been trying to say all this while okay now the first command i want to run i've um, actually um, copied my scripts okay to the SQL developer, and as you can see, I'm logged in as the sysdba. Okay, so the first command I want to execute is the show con name. Of course, you know what this command will do. It will show you the current container you are connected to. So I'm connected to the root database, as you can see from our outputs, because it's showing the cdb dollar sign root. So I'm actually connected to the root database. Now I'll try to execute this command. It says select con underscore ID. That's the container ID. Then the name, the open mode, that's open underscore mode from V dollar sign PDBs. Now this is actually a query to view the, the status of your pluggable database. Okay. 
So let me quickly execute this query, and then you can see that OROCL PDB is open in read-write mode, and the rest of the other pluggable databases are mounted. That's fine. I don't need all of them to be open. I just want um, the OROCL PDB to be open, so I can use it to do my illustration. Okay. Now, uh, the next thing I want to do is to execute this query. Let me quickly clean this and then execute this query. It says select owner table underscore name con ID, that's container ID from CDB underscore tables order by one, two. Okay, of course, this order by one, two means order by owner and order by table name. So let me quickly execute this query. You see that it will show me everything, every table in both the CDB and the PDB. Okay. So I'll execute this query real quick and then you can see the result. Okay. If we do this, if we do this right click and then say count rows, you'll see that we have 4,368 rows. Okay. Now there's another thing I want you to take note of. Take note of the container ID. Okay. Now for this particular owner, app QO sys, we have two of the same users. But if you look at the container ID, you will discover that this user is found in container ID three which is the pluggable database OROCL PDB. And then this user is also found in container ID one, which is actually the root database. Are you seeing how the query works now? So this user is found both in the pluggable database and the root database. Please, again, take note of how many rows we have. We have 4,368 rows. There's a reason why I'm emphasizing on this particular point. Okay, so let's execute this query. Now we want to execute a query to count all the tables we have in both the pluggable database and the root database. Okay, we want to have a clear picture of how many tables each of these containers have. So for that, I'll execute the query, select container ID, count table name from CDB underscore tables group by container ID. Okay. So if I execute this query, you will see now that container ID one, which is the root database actually has 2,179 tables. Why container ID three, which is the pluggable database, has two thousand one hundred and eighty nine tables. Okay, this is very important. Take notes. You can even write it down, or maybe I should just create a notepad for it so um, we get to differentiate because we want to do one exercise real quick. So just um, give me a second. Um, new text document. Okay, I'll just quickly open this and then um, I'll say for container, container ID one, I have 2,179 tables. And then for container ID container ID three, I have 2,189 tables, okay? So um, container ID one is actually root, and then container ID three is pluggable PDB, okay? So you might be wondering why I am doing this. Now there's a query we will execute when we switch or when we alter the session and then you get to see what I was trying to explain. Okay. Now we are querying the CDB underscore tables and it's giving us the tables both in 
the container database and then the pluggable database. So let's go to our SQL developer again. Let's execute this query. Okay. Select count table underscore name from DBA underscore tables. Now we are not using the CDB underscore view again. We are now using the DBA underscore view. But because we are still in the container database, it will show us only the tables in the container database. Okay. So I'll execute this query. Let me quickly clear this. I'll execute this query. And then it gave me 2,179. And which of the containers has 2,179 tables? It's obviously container ID 1, which is the root database. Okay? So let me do something real quick. Now, I'm going to alter the session to the pluggable database and execute the same query. Okay? So let me quickly do that. Alter session, set container equal to OROCL PDB. If I execute, it shows session has been altered. Okay. Now to confirm, I'll run the query show container underscore name. And then if I execute, it shows that I'm actually in the pluggable database. So let me execute the same query again. Select count in brackets table underscore name from DBA underscore tables. If I execute this, you see that I have 2,189 tables. Now let's look at our file and find out which container has 2,189 tables. It's obviously the, the pluggable database. So are you seeing how the data dictionary views work? Okay, you can use it to query um, objects in both the container database and the pluggable database. Okay, now I want to alter the session again and move back to the root database. Session has been altered to confirm. Um, show con name. Okay, and it has shown me that I'm in the root database. So, guys, this is just an introductory um, lesson to the data dictionary. Going forward, I'll be bringing your way more exciting content about the Oracle Data Dictionary and how to query your data files, how to query some other important data dictionary views. So please like this video if it was interesting to you and share it widely. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.